The Green Actors Lounge is a really great platform where people come together and discuss um, sustainability on a, on a broader level. And even though this is the entertainment industry, we all do some sort of entertainment in our lives. And especially when I look at the word entertainment, so attainment is like the getting into something and enter, of course, is like, how do I get in there? And we discussed it from the, from the perspective of really being humans that on screen, for example, show what human emotion is like, what we think about, what is important to us. And that needs to be displayed behind camera, of course. It needs to be lived out in your daily lives and the rituals and the practices you do so that you can really show other human beings what are the issues we are facing in our time, in our culture, and our beings. And um, we discuss that here from you know clothing, to food, to um, personal issues, to screenwriting, but it applies to all people out there. What industry is sustainable? It's, you know, yes, it is sustainable in a sense of, it is sustaining itself. Is it always sustaining in a matter of like um, taking care of the planet properly, taking care of the humans who are behind that industry? No, but the industry in itself is always transforming. And I think the transformation process is what we should focus on. And this is something that could be a bit more um, humane. And when I say humane, I mean also green. You know, like the planet is us, we are the planet. So in that matter, no, it's not as sustainable as it could be. But, you know, everything is always, always changing. One thing that should be better is the aspect of time. We have to allow ourselves to take our time in whatever we do. It is like it takes me to go from here to over there five minutes, no matter what I do. I need that long. A breath takes this and that many seconds. And we always try to get everything faster and faster and faster. But in the, in the end, we have um, physical components in this world that have certain timing. And I think if we remember that timing, like the seasons come in like three months, three months, three months, we have to allow time to be a bigger factor and to allow it to be lived out easily. The second is deep listening. I hear so many people talk without listening to the other person first. They already think about what they're going to say whilst the person is talking instead of listening to the end so they really hear the broad spectrum of what the person is saying so then they can go into and that brings me to the third not reacting but answering taking the responsibility finding the ability to respond and not to just you know ping pong back and forth if people start to understand that in order to make the big changes they have to really implement changes within starting with like a radical self-acceptance. We always have this tendency to be like, oh, this needs to be better, that needs to be better. And then we come to our own selves, not accepting certain aspects of who we are, which is we are not full. And I cannot transform something where I only take half of it into the transformation, but the other half I leave out because I'm not seeing it. I don't want to see it. So we have to come to a place and be like, it is as it is now. And it's neither good or bad, it just is. Now the question is, what do we want to be different? And when I don't judge it in good or bad, I don't come to a place where I say like, um, oh no, I'd rather not talk about that because it's uncomfortable. Oh, I better talk about that, that's easy for me. And then we only transform that one thing. I think really coming to this place of, it is as it is, no judgment, let's discuss what we can do.